Hey guys, what's up? Alex Grinapps here today. I'm going to show you how to make a iPhone quiz game for uh, an iPhone quiz game app. So you're going to be able to make your very own. So you're going to have to have Xcode downloaded. Obviously, uh, you've probably gotten that far. Um, so what you're going to need before you even launch Xcode is you're going to need to create a couple different files. Um, so basically, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you to make three questions uh, for the quiz and you could add more if you get the hang of this but I'm going to show you how to make three questions a losing screen so if they lose the game this screen will pop up and a winning screen so if the user wins the game or passes the quiz then this screen pops up so you're going to need to make three questions uh, for this tutorial so these are my three questions you can make whatever you want be creative as long as it's just tapping on something so you can say like um, tap on the blue square or tap on the hamburger, I don't know, something like that. Uh, these are my three questions, just for example. It doesn't have to look anything like this. I put question one, two, and three, tap the instructions, and some artwork, and this is just really quick. So you're going to need to make 320 by 480 pixel images, and they have to be .png. And then here's the losing screen I made, just really simple. All you lost, and those are the same file types, PNG and 320 by 480 and then you pass is the winning screen. So go into Xcode, um, create a new project, view based application and I'm just gonna name it quiz. So there we go. Before we even do anything I'm just gonna highlight all my files here and drag them into resources. Oops. Right, make sure they go into resources and then copy items into destinations group folder make sure that's checked. Add and then we can close these up. We're going to open up classes over here. Let me make this bigger. Open up classes. Uh, right click on classes, add new file, and go to UI View Controller subclass. Double click on that. And do Q2 View Controller. So basically, that's saying this is going to be the screen for question two. Okay. Once again, Q3 View Controller. Make sure they're all spelled correctly. Q3, capital Q, 3 viewcontroller.m, and the .m should already be there. You just have to replace the untitled. Another time, add new file, UI view controller subclass, and then this time we're going to do win view controller. And this is basically all the different pages of the app. Add new file, last time we're going to name it lose view controller. Oop, I forgot the W there. See, if you if you spell it wrong, you can mess up the whole app. Um, so it's really that specific. So actually, over here under classes, we have quizappdelegate.hnm. We're not going to mess with those really at all. And then quizviewcontroller.hnm. This is going to be for the first question. These two. Second question. Oops. Second question. Third question. The winning screen and the losing screen. And you see for each. Each class, each file we added, we got an XIB file. So we're going to highlight all the XIB files over here uh, by holding down on command. And then we're going to drag them into our resources folder. And we can close that up because we can access them through Interface Builder later. So we're going to go into quizviewcontroller.h. And over here, next to the curly bracket, we're going to enter twice. And we're going to do hyphen open parentheses IB action with capital IBA uh, close parentheses Q2 semicolon enter hyphen open parentheses um, IB action once again and then lose. This is basically saying there's going to be two actions on this on this page or view controller. And now we're going to have to go into the .m of that, so quiz view controller .m, and we're going to have to implement those files. But first, at the top over here, under import, uh, we're going to go to enter, number sign import, space quotation, Q2 view controller, and it should pop up like that, and then enter, and we're going to do the same thing, but for the other view controller, so lose view controller, and yeah. So now we're going to go after implementation quiz view controller, enter, enter, oops, um, so let me get the code for a second, file, 
you guys don't worry about this. Um, okay, so I have the code already written down. I mean, copied, so I don't have to type it up right here. But you're going to need to copy all this down. Type all this up. So after Quiz View Controller, you're going to do IP Action Q2, blah, 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 and all of this. So pause the video if you need to right now. Uh, but if not, I'm going to put this in the video description. If that's easy. Yeah, I'm going to put this in the video description. Um, but if not, you could still do it right now and learn how to type this up and get used to it. But there it is. So you could have paused the video right there. And so that's it for QuizViewController.h and Now we're going to go into Q2ViewController.h. This one right here, Q2ViewController.h. I'm going to do the same thing for the .h. After the curly bracket, we're going to go enter twice. IB action Q3 this time, because we're going to go to question 3 if we get it right. And then IB action lose, because there's still a possibility that you can lose. We're going to go into the .m and we're going to do the import thing again. Number sign import, space, quotation, Q3, viewcontroller.h, and then number sign import, oop, uh, what, oh, lose viewcontroller.h. So then we are going to implement these, paste that code again, this time we're going to replace every time it says Q2 over here, except for here. Leave this alone. But every time after the I by action it says Q2, we're going to replace that with Q3. Oops, over here. And we're going to have to update that for each time we copy, each time we paste it. So now we're going to go into Q3 viewcontroller.h and once again enter twice after the curly bracket. I by action. This time we're going to do win, because we're going to win the game if we pass this question. And then IB action lose. And we're going to go into Q3ViewController.m. And one second. So we're going to go into Q3ViewController.m. And under, implementation, uh, under import, you're going to go import number sign import space quotation win view controller dot h and then number sign import space quotation lose view controller dot h and then under so it will look like this and then under q3 view controller enter twice paste that same code from all the other times and change q2 to win Everywhere you see Q2, change it to win. Just as we changed Q2 to Q3. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Uh, now move on to part two. Uh, yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to check out part two to finish up this tutorial. Um, you're just going to do build and then save all, and you're ready for part two. Okay, that's it. Bye.